Do you know someone who is toxic? Well, they might be reading too many Facebook posts. <laughs> According to Jason Reifler at the University of Exeter, who, with his colleagues, has done an analysis of 6.5 million Facebook comments. Ooh. It suggests that engaging with comments on Facebook news articles might lead you to make more toxic comments yourself. Now, I just kind of want to go over what a toxic comment is quite quickly. Um, Will you give us examples of a toxic comment? Will you? Um, you're really mean. Wow. Now, that's not toxic, is it? That's quite nice. You're... <laughs> Thank you. I, I, will, I will now modify yeah, my behavior to I be achieved, kinder. I achieved my aim. Thank you. <laughs> uh, a toxic comment is referred to as a rude, disrespectful, or unreasonable comment that is uh, likely to make you leave a discussion. Now, that is according to Google's Perspective API, a program designed to search out rude, mean comments. I'm trying to remove them. Google initially tried uh, keyword-based detectors. Um, that have been used to find hate speech. Like it targets specific words. It goes, that word is bad. But simply using offensive speech doesn't mean that it's hate speech necessarily because there's context, you know. Mm -hmm. Some friends call each other mean words sometimes, but it's in a fun way. It's not in a bad way. I wasn't insulting you. I was simply quoting an insult mm. that someone else had said to you. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same thing at all. <laughs> so each, uh, each comment under this comment <laughs> detector would be assigned a toxicity score uh, based on the language in the comment compared to other comments which have previously been reported as being offensive. Now, this had some drawbacks, as it wasn't right. Not mm. even a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> for example, uh, the comment, uh, an example of a comment is, you're pretty smart for a girl, rated at 18% similar to offensive comments. However, the comment, I love the Fuhrer, Rated at 2% similar, so significantly oh, low. Oh dear. Yes. Oh dear. So um, not too effective. You don't have a clip I mean, of, I think... We don't have a clip of you saying that, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I do think that the um, the comment, like, you're pretty smart for a girl, that is, it's it's a it's a microaggression, isn't it? It's yeah. like, it's mm. that's a toxic comment. It's a subtle toxic comment. I actually think that's, think that's pretty impressive that it caught, that it picked up on that. Uh, like if it's able to pick up on that and isn't and, and doesn't pick, like falsely flag other comments that use the word girl like i suppose for a girl is could yeah, be deemed yeah. a toxic phrase couldn't it so i think that's pretty i think good, that's actually. what it detected it's like for yeah. a girl yeah. yeah that kind of thing but yeah. then what, what would it say like um what is there for a girl to, to do, do in this world <laughs> exactly <laughs> toxic toxic comment <laughs> exactly and that was the kind of thing that that's where it was going wrong because it mm. would just take those key <laughs> phrases and go that's bad all the time yeah not very good not very effective however haji muhammad salim at mcgill university in canada suggested that training machine learning software to spot hate speech by learning how members of hateful communities speak versus non-hateful communities because there's differences in language mm. between different communities, usually. So you can mm. pick up the context in which some words might be used badly and the same words might be used okay. Um, so they used a data dump that contained a lot of posts made on Reddit between uh, 2006 <laughs> and 2016. Well, they start, I mean, they went for the big guns first. They went for the big guns, didn't they? I, think you, I hope that they were more specific than just... <laughs> hmm. Look, How let's do we be real. train this toxicity algorithm? www.reddit.com Reddit. <laughs> To be real, if we, if we, right, Reddit is kind of the mid-tier of toxicity, isn't it? They honed in on groups on Reddit that, target, that often targeted uh, marginalized groups like African-Americans, overweight people and women. Those um, African-Americans always targeting. <laughs> <laughs> no, th those are the people that were being targeted, targeted. in those groups. Targeted. <laughs> yeah, targeted. <laughs> uh, and their approach found that fewer false, pro uh, fewer false positives rather than the keyword-based detector. Um, it was able to flag things like, I don't see a problem here. Animals attack other animals all the time, in which that comment was referring to black-on-black -black crime. Um, which wouldn't which wouldn't be detected in a keyword based detector. It would not because it's just kind of a. You probably see that in vegan. Mm, groups. That's that's subtle. Yeah, that's it's subtle, subtle, and you can. It's more. It's more likely to be seen elsewhere mm. than in groups like that. I'd say. Uh, Thomas Davidson has said that comparing hateful and non hateful communities rather to find language that distinguishes them is a clever solution, and he has since gone on and trained machine learning machine learning software. So I want to go back to. Jason Reifler's, his experiment, where they gathered comments from 11,305 posts from 33 news outlets in, uh, from October of 2018. All the posts were from that month. 
And they also hired a polling company to survey 2,200 people in the US for a nationally representative uh, sample. Uh, the aim was to see if uh, comment sections played a role in increasing toxicity both online and offline. So participants were asked to read a sample of Facebook posts and suggest uh, a comment that they would leave under that specific post. Uh, comments in the study were ranked from zero, not toxic, to one, very toxic. So for example, uh, the comment, good, leave for Africa, rated 0 0.5, and the comment, uh, lol, what a loser, rated 0 0.8 on the toxicity level. Uh, Hang on, what? Yeah. That seems the wrong way around. It does seem the wrong way around, doesn't it? So the, there are some criticisms people have made about this approach as well. Uh, participants were also asked how often they comment. Uh, people who don't comment on Facebook posts ever, the average rating was uh, 0 0.18 on the, on the toxicity scale. And mm -hmm. people who comment on Facebook posts daily, their comments average 0 0.23. So people who use Facebook and comment a lot are more likely to be making toxic comments on Facebook. All suggested comments from the participants averaged 0 0.19 on the toxicity scale, whereas the actual real comments that they took from Facebook averaged 0 0.33, which is significantly higher. Um, but they suggested that this underestimate may be due to participants being more civil when they're face-to-face -face with the pollsters. <laughs> Here, here's a picture. What would you say to this picture? Well, I would say, uh, die. You wouldn't say that to an actual person. You wouldn't say that <laughs> when someone's face to face with you. You're going to be like, oh, I should maybe restrain would, myself a bit. Um, I would say, lol, go back to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> lol, get noob. Good. <laughs> well, I'm, I messed that one up. Lol, get good noob. Die in a fire, please. Mm, I don't think that quite works in front of a person. Oh, would you say that? Would you? Um, yeah. Oh, well, no, that but, hurt my feelings. Sorry. I'm face -face. Uh, noob. Double zero. Yeah, there you uh, go. Perfect. Noob, yeah, Good. that makes it. That Thank makes you. it fine. <laughs> just, just, I honestly, like, I get such rude comments sometimes. Not even from people who are like trying to be rude, and like genuinely, honestly, honestly so many. Just one this morning. I was, I was like, I was reading it. And I was like, there's a nice way to say that. Oh. Like, if you want to be like, if you want to offer constructive criticism, there is a nice way to say that. But mm -hmm. some people are so bloody rude, and I just want to. It's I just not even see necessarily them. the content of what you're saying. It's sometimes the way you say it. Exactly, it just comes off so like jarring. I just want to see them say it to my face, like not to be like <laughs> say it to my face, bro, but like say it to my face, because like I don't think if we met in real life, you saw me, you'd be like saying the same mean stuff that you mm. say, like that you say in YouTube comments or Facebook comments. But yeah, no, go on, go on. Yeah, so they also wanted to figure out how reading these comments as an observer uh, affected you. So half the participants were exposed to Facebook posts that had no comments on whatsoever. And the other half were exposed to posts that had their featured comments listed mm. underneath. And the featured comments are selected for algorith algorithmically by Facebook. And the researchers found that featured comments typically average 0 0.9 on the toxic <gasps> scale. <laughs> Yeah. Facebook, you're doing a dreadful job. Yeah. Uh, mm. Apparently, though, uh, they have known about this for a while. Who is it that said that? Uh, it was a, a Facebook representative. Uh, there was someone else who commented um, saying, I can't remember his name, that Facebook has known about this for a while, but they're, they're never going to change it because uh, basically interaction comes before anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, duh. Yeah. It's like, okay, right, put it this way. Mm. Websites don't tend to care very much about morals so much as they care about how much can we get away with to get as many people interacting with us as possible? So the participants who were exposed to these just awful featured comments underneath the Facebook posts averaged uh, 0 0.33 more in their, co like mm. on, on the toxicity scale, their comments after reading those were an average of 0.33 more on the toxic toxicity scale than people who were exposed to no comments at all, which shows that um, reading other bad comments leads you to make other bad comments. Yeah. So you should just not read comments ever, is my advice. <laughs> That's, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, so a Facebook spokesperson came out and said that this 2018 data does not reflect our current recent work in this area. They also added that political content only takes up 6% of the content that US users encounter and 95% of hate speech is removed before it is reported. So this seems to be how we're doing things uh, in terms of getting rid of hate speech online at the moment. <laughs> it's, it's the best we've ever had, to its credit. But um, 
there, there have obviously been some criticisms like uh, before with that comment, you should go back to Africa or whatever, being rated lower than you're a loser, seems a bit wrong. And also there's, it's been shown to just blatantly miss some like really obvious things. Like there was a comment like, I don't like black people that rated quite low on the toxicity just, scale. And it's he, just like, he got that on, no, he stop, got that on stop clipping well. me. No, you stop clipping me. You got it on film. I don't know what you want me to do. I can't help but clip it, man. Oh, it's going to be clipped. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's been suggestions that they should integrate Google's perspective API with keyword based detectors and try and find a middle ground. Yeah. But you know, I, I mean, coming from someone who gets that kind of hate speech, I feel like calling me a loser is more offensive than telling me to go back to Africa because <laughs> I've never been to Africa, but I definitely have been a loser. So one of them really cuts mm. a lot, a, you know, cuts a lot deeper than the one other. One of them hits home. One of them really does hit home, and the other one is, is calling me a loser. Not <laughs> <laughs>If you enjoyed that clip, head over to patreon.com forward slash SciGuys where you can find the full show. Or you can stay here and catch up on all SciGuys episodes. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at SciGuysPod to find out when we're doing more live shows. <laughs>